All right, good people. We are back with another episode of Daddy Issue. <laughs> Get it in real quick. <laughs> we are still dads out here. Uh, Keon's talking to his kids right now, as a matter of fact. Right now. Oh, guess what, man? They know who you are now. They know who I am? Yeah, they said, they said, Daddy, you have to work? I said, yeah, with uh, Mr. Tony. And they was like, oh, the guy at Mr. Will's house? I was like, yeah, him, same guy. And they was like, oh, okay. Oh, I finally registered. You finally registered. I Even said, though they've seen me several times, I finally registered. <laughs> I, said, I said, Kendrick, that's your godfather. He's like, godfather? <laughs> Tell me more about this. <laughs> about this. Man, I remember uh, my mom... I had two godmothers, and uh, my mom was like, they were they were fighting over who got the the godmother rights, so she just made them both godmothers. Oh yeah. I was like, oh, was that serious, huh? She's like, yeah. Like, oh okay. And uh, yeah, man, Sonny and Jerry, what's up, man? Oh, he can't hear you because he. Had- oh okay. What's what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! What kind of shirt he got on? Is that his shirt collar? Well, it's it's Ken, it's Keelan's shirt. Oh, <laughs> it but it's like Keelan's. He's... Yeah, because it's Keelan's old shirt, and it was too, it was too big for Keelan. But they, you know, all they do is dress up as superheroes all day. Mm-hmm. So that shirt has a Superman emblem, and he was being Superman, so he needed Keelan's shirt. That collar looked like he was in a fight. You know, when you oh, get in a yeah. fight, and your shirt collar be like shoulder be out. So yeah, it don't it don't fit him. It's way too big. You guys stop, stop doing that. I told you, don't knock this light over. And then, uh, so they yeah, Cotty has gone. So they, I was like, all right, you guys are hanging out with me. Mm. And then they was like, okay, we want to be on because he imitates me. Last night I was doing zooming. So after I got off, he got on. He was like, what up, everybody? This is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and this is my brother, Diaper Poli. And then Kendrick was like, my name is not Diaper Poli. <laughs> and, then, and then right now he was like, what up, everybody? I was like, do you want to get on? He was like, no, nah, I'm scared. I was like, what? He's like, the people. I was like, there's no people. It's just Mr. Tony. And he was like, nah. Get out of the cores, man. Well, we doing a uh, episode. We doing the questions episode today on Daddy Issues. Questions from the audience, man. Yes, we have a lot of good ones today. The first one is from Koopa Paratroopa 14. Very good name. I like rhyming names. All right, so Bar. what? <laughs> what are all three of your thoughts on people only getting one check from the government? while other countries have been giving stimulus checks out every month since this has all started. Our government is trash. Honestly, I'm surprised we even got one. Right, because we're so trash. Wait, this government be. And here's the thing, they were giving money to like, like why does Elon Musk need money from the government? Like why, like they're giving money to people who just, like why? Well, the thing is, last year they gave these big corporations tax breaks and they should have pocketed that money in case of an emergency like this. But what they did is they bought back all their stocks. So now they come with empty pockets and their hands out saying, we need money, we're broke. And the way Germany handled it was like, OK, we'll give you money, but you can't you can't fire any of your employees. Yeah. But what how our government handled it is just here's money. Billionaire, here's some more money with none of these stipulations. So we're getting three times screwed because you had the tax breaks last year. Yeah. You gave the corporations money and you have to give unemployment. What is what is going on? Sick of this yeah. cattle in this corner. Um, I feel like I feel like they're more I feel like America is so focused on capitalism though, they're more, you know. Let's help out the, you know, the, the business people that really don't need the money like that. And so I'm surprised we got the one. Now the two, I'm like, oh, they giving two? I right. didn't buy it. I don't know if we're getting that second one. We deserve it as a people, but I don't know if we're getting it. Yeah, I had no faith. Uh, but I appreciate that one, though. Oh, I didn't hate it. 
Man, I, you know, I'm not mad at the one. I, and I, I wasn't. I wasn't mad at the kid bonus either. Man. Well, I still didn't get mine. And when I called to ask, they said, "Oh, we're still going through more applicate or more um, tax filings from 2019." I said, "Well, you cashed my check," and they said, "Oh, that's a shame." I was like, "Well, what about my rent?" They said, "Oh, that's a shame." I was. Why am I calling you? She's like, I'm just here answering the phones. I felt bad for the lady, but she could not help me at all. She just said, wait, wow. wait on it. So you never got one. I never got the one. At this point, it's looking like it's going to be on my 2020 tax return, maybe. I don't know. They could not help me out at all. She just said, be patient. Like, I have been patient. patient. I got the one right after I filed for my taxes. Like I got my tax return. I think I got the stimulus first and then my tax return. Like back to back. No, they cash my check. I should show them the receipt. I should come there with the check stub and say, you cash my money. Can I, how about you just give me my money back? Let's just yep. call it even on this, at this point. All right. I think I got mine in like late May, maybe June. I can't remember when I got it. It wasn't right away though. It was before I did my taxes, uh, but it came in. Because I didn't think I was getting one. I was like, I'm, I'm probably not going to get one. And then it came in. I didn't think I was going to get nothing. Because I tried to do that SBA loan or whatever. Everybody else got their money. I didn't get nothing. Because mm. I didn't even want the loan money. Because, you know, they, you could take out the loan or you can decline the loan, but you still get like a $1,000 grant. And everybody I know got the grant. And I didn't get it. Once I hear loan, I was like, "No." So, so you you fill out the paperwork and then it asks if you want the loan. I was like, "No, I don't want that. Mm. Just give me that grant that I don't have to pay back." And I never got it. Everybody else got it. I didn't get it. Hmm. I don't think I filled out. I didn't fill out nothing. To be honest with y'all. Yeah. I didn't fill out a damn thing. Well, once I heard grant, I was like, "Yeah, I'll do that." Oh yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But the because I was like, I ain't doing no loans. I, I don't want, I've heard people, people did too much on the unemployment and they about to come back for people. People, you know, they, they took out these SBA loans and for some reason it didn't register with people that a loan has to be paid back. So people are taking out these $10,000 loans. Oh, and, no. Yeah, what it's like, you? yo, they coming for you. Yep. Yeah. And if you, need, if you need it, hey, I'm, you know, I, I, I get it. But there's the people that don't need it. They just, ooh, with your money. It's like you're a college student all over again. You're doing too much. I learned my lesson back. in college. Right. Me too. I went buck wild. Long get pale grants, I'll take it off. Yeah. I wish I could turn back. That's my biggest regret in life is the student loans. <laughs> That's my biggest regret. That's Mine too, because I didn't, I didn't even need it. That's what makes yeah, me mad. I, I mean, I needed it at the time, but I ain't need it, need it, need it. Like, I had I known how much I was going to get and have to pay back, I would have just struggled. Green corn sandwiches uh, anyway. So I might as well just did that. I was on some dumb stuff. Like, when my teammates got it, we were on scholarship. I didn't need yeah. it. Oh, you, I was you, just you, like, it was good. I was like, oh, everybody else is getting money. I want, I want some money. It was like, yeah, man, you just spill it out. And then they give you money. Yeah. Should be illegal. And then them, them, them interest rates, I didn't know nothing about that. But well, I didn't qualify for none of the, like, the grants and all that stuff. Like, I didn't qualify for none of that stuff. I tried to only use one parent, and they still was like, nah. <laughs> Because my parents had just divorced. When I went to college, they had just divorced. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I don't, ha- I don't have the two-parent income thing anymore because we never used to get nothing. We never qualified for nothing. Yeah. And I tried to use only my dad, and they still was like, nah. I'm like, how poor do you have to be to get stuff? Right. Very poor. Like they, it's, it's, it's insane. Like To get EBT, I didn't know EBT was like federal. They don't do it state by state, so it's just like an average. So in California... They say you got to make under twenty one hundred a month to get it. I'm like, you know, twenty one hundred a month in California is nothing. Mm-hmm. That's the only way you can get it. I was just like, man, man, twenty one hundred a month in certain states, man, that's a killer. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. So they 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 fine, but the, everybody else is like, nah. for a family of four, by the way. Oh God! For a family of four, bro. If we looked into all this, we'd be looking into stuff, and they'd be like, nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Nah. We'd be trying, and we them letters be coming back like, get the hell out of here. Hmm. What are y'all doing, man? What else we got, man? Okay, DVM asks, Marquez Houston, 38, is allegedly engaged to a 19-year-old. That's half his age. What advice would you give to your 18-year-old son or daughter if a 40-year-old person was trying to pursue them? I'm not with it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not with it. Marcus Houston? Is that who it is? Oh, wow. (laughs) Mr. Immature, huh? All right. Um... 40 years old dating my 18 year old daughter? Nah. Nah, hell no. Nah. nah, I ain't with it. I ain't with it. I know you 18 now. But come on, man. We're going to have to have a talk. I mean, at 18, I can't really, you know, demand anything, but nah. It's not getting my blessing. No, me either. I'm, hope- I'm hoping I do a, a good enough job the years before that, that they understand that mentally you're not ready mm-hmm. for that. That's, that's yeah. too much for you. Don't give me that old soul business even yeah. now, man. Yeah. 18 just, to 40? Just, nah, you're not ready for that. Maybe not for marriage. I think maybe in some industries, especially if you've been famous from young, maybe you're not as mature as someone who's been living a full 40 years out in the world, working nine to five, cutting your grass and everything. So maybe the 38 year old is really on the level of a 19 year old and not the other way around. Still. 19 though. And he been famous, especially not a 38. He, Marcus Hughes has been famous since he was like 10. Mm-hmm. He could be and stunted. I, and I'm Michael like, Michael Jackson was stunted. I don't, I don't want, could be. first of all, you're going to be number 1 million and 12 on the smash tip. Is that what you really want in life? <laughs> like you've been right. famous for a long time. Mm-hmm. What do you have to really? Uh, I, I feel. That. I feel like a lot of women don't care about the body count of a man, especially a famous know. man. They they don't really be tripping on that. Seems like. it, it comes with the territory. They get it. Yeah, I mean, like dudes, dudes be like nah, but women, y'all just be like Lil Wayne. He always getting the new one. I'll be like, he been with eighty million women. <sighs> And he not, I mean, money goes a long way. That is not an attractive guy. <laughs> money goes a long way. Goodness gracious. Personality, too, because if he's confident, confidence is almost everything. You can oh, women convince love a that. person that you are the, cute if you are confident enough. The average guy who looks like Lil Wayne without Lil Wayne money is crashing and burning nine out of ten times. I don't care how much swag he got. But women, women are drawing the confidence. They are. They definitely are. That is a that is a fact. But the average dude looking like Lil Wayne is not going to even have that confidence because he's going to be getting destroyed his entire life. I've seen a lot of ugly confidence. I grew up with a lot of them cats. I'd be like, man, you confident as hell. Hey, man, you got to do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing with them. Uh, a lot of times they grow on a woman or... See, what money will get you is the opportunity to even grow on a chick. Yeah. Like Lil Wayne to get through the door because he's Lil Wayne. Like yeah. the average ugly dude can't even get through the door. Now, if and they that's work, what it is. That's if they work point. with ugly dude, if they work with the ugly dude, then he has time to yeah. you know, grow on her. And then she'd be like, man, I hooked up with Gerald. And Gerald? Like, yeah, he was, he was funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a very good point. The money gets you in the door. You still have to have the confidence, the personality, mm-hmm. and such as that. But without the money, to even getting in that door is very hard. Right. Right. The money or the fame or like they just know you. Yeah. Women women are all about familiarity, comfort, and confidence. Men are too. They've done studies or they had um these college students, they had tested college boys and they said, which of these girls do you think is the cutest? And they had these uh-huh. girls come to class 
one time, two times, half the classes and all the times. And they ranked them on cuteness based on how much they had seen them. Mm, interesting. This is from a book called Everybody Lies, if you want to look up that story too. So familiarity for people, it happens. I'm not saying you should harass people like they do in the mm. Bollywood movies where you're constantly there. Don't do that. But just like, hey, you know, I'm your neighbor, whatever. Mm. And lay off. Just, just let yourself be seen. At the gym yeah. or whatever, let yourself be seen. Eventually she'll be like, he's not ugly. <laughs> he's confident, you know? Mm -hmm. I believe he's that. Nice. Yeah. Like, I, I've grown on women before, you know? Initially, they'd be like, ah, and then later on, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's yeah. at the door, so <laughs> it's time. So I grew on you, huh? yeah. So me so may, have you ever have you ever I asked see. a woman like so? What made you come around now? Uh, I probably have, but I don't remember a specific incident. Because th that that level of thinking takes me back to this girl I liked in high school, who she just liked me as a friend initially, and then you know I was just around, and then we would occasionally you know hook up or whatever. So I was like, ah, I grew. So that's what put me in the mindset of, you know, oh, I can grow on, on a girl, you know, just by being cool and, you know, around. And then, uh, so I just carried that, you know, throughout. My success rate, you know, went up as I got older, but just that initial, you know, uh, roll up was like, all right, the grow oh, I often wonder how how long women be holding their side in too as well. Like as far as either interest or, you know what I mean? Like, cause I've had, I, I, I remember I hooked up with a friend and after the hookup, she was like, finally. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, how long have you been? Oh, a lot of times women won't say nothing. Like, I, I know women that are interested in somebody else, and they won't say, why don't you just tell them? I, I'll never tell them. What, what is this doing? What, yeah, why are you not saying? He needs to, you know, come to me. A lot of women have that, you need to say something to me before I attempt to even put myself out there like that. They don't want to put themselves out there like that. And I'll be like. And the thing was, it's like, I wasn't, not checking for her. Very, very attractive girl. It was just like, we were just yeah. cool. So I wasn't uh -huh. even like, I was like, oh, this is the homie. Like, I wasn't even, mm -hmm. I wasn't not, like, I didn't friend zone you and you didn't friend zone me. It was just like nothing. And then when it happened though, she was like, all right, cool. And I was like, well, yeah. why did you say something? And she was because like, you didn't cool. say that. Yeah, but I was yeah. like, well, I wasn't, but I didn't have, I was like, but if you had the, you know, the let's take this further initiative, you should have just said something. Yeah, she she didn't want to be the she didn't want to initiate the the move yeah. and mess up mess up something. She didn't want to take the chance of messing up something. Like if y'all was cool, she didn't want to disrupt that. She's like, all right, I won't say that. Or if you're not, if she doesn't feel that you feel she's special enough to say something to, you know, why is she going to be one of many? Well, I felt like at her level of attractiveness, I, I just feel like like what I'm gonna say no to this. Like, what am I? I, don't, I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, I just, when I, I'm like, what, what, you, what come on. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was like, yeah. I have a story from high school. I liked a guy for about two years and I talked to him all the time, constantly. He was a good friend of the family and it probably would have worked out, but I never said anything. And then, and then something came up and I was like, I guess he found out about it. And then um, he mentioned, I said, I said, you know, a lot of girls like you. And he looked at me and he said, well, if some of them would have said something, I was like, oh, geez, uh -huh. I already got off to college by this point. I was over the whole thing. And I was like, well, I mean, that's a shame. That's happened to me a lot, too. Girl, I used to like you uh, at this point in time. And I was yeah. like, why did you say that? And it was just like, you know, I just, and then by the time you find out, She's over. Late. She's like, yeah. ah, it was, it was, it was then. I was like, that's happened to me quite often. I was yeah. just like, I've had that. Now I did have the one that the friend did reveal, and I was like, ah, mm -hmm. like I wish, <laughs> I wish she wouldn't have said nothing. 
Yeah. And then it was awkward for a little bit. It, it, it eventually like was like whatever. Mm-hmm. But the initial, like I found out from somebody else and I was just like, I'm just going to act like I don't know. Yeah. And I'm just going to be like, you know, whatever. And then she said it and I was like, ah, oh, damn it. But you wasn't attracted. Nah. Yeah. That's happened that was, to me. That was my homie. And I was like, oh, oh wow. man. I was like, you, uh, come on, bud. <laughs> like, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And it eventually worked itself out and blew over. But I was just like, ah. And she wasn't ugly. She just wasn't my type. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, ah. Yeah. That happened to me a whole lot, especially like college and like high school. Like, a girl, the girls that were interested in me, I wasn't feeling like that really. So yeah. it was just like, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, it was just, you know, especially high school, I was Virgin McGee, so, and as I got older, even now, like, you know, within comedy, you know, some some comedians have been interested in me, and I've just been like, <laughs> you know, just not to, you know, disrupt the flow or anything like that, so. But it, it don't be awkward on my part, I just be like, yeah, I don't know how to, I don't want to be like, nah, man, I ain't feeling you. So that'd be the awkward part on on the I'm not interested. On, on the work like, trip though, you have the you have the out of like we work together. I can't I don't do that. Yeah, the bailout. You, I don't, you have you that know. out. I don't mix business with pleasure. You have that out. So you ain't never hooked up with a female comedian? Well, I mean I have, but I learned I learned my lesson. Yeah, yeah, you got out. From the previous. <laughs> Maya, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, why do women reveal uh, stuff when it doesn't matter anymore it, it, uh, because you're taken already now like why do they say it when you're when, like when you're good because like, why, do, why do they get so comfortable with the the revealing of info like like i'm married right i i'm married and then all of a sudden it's people be like oh man if you was single or whatever and it's like why are you saying that now when i've known you for this amount of time well for some girls who I don't know, I came out a psychiatrist, but some girls like what's not available to them. So they'll just flirt. Some girls will want to see how, push your boundaries, of see how solid that marriage is. And obviously marriages are both very solid. So you say like, well, that's a shame. But some girls, it's just like, oh, this isn't, this is a non-issue. It's like playing a video game. You know what I mean? It's not, I can say this now because it's everything's off the table, so I can just talk about it like it's a player video game and it's not real. Yeah, it's what kind. But I don't be feeling that. I don't like. I don't like the reveals of stuff. Like, like why just keep it? To, why are you telling me all this? Because then you got to think about her later, and that's gonna. Mess I, yeah, I don't. I don't bit. like. I don't like how comfortable women get once you're married they're like oh you don't matter we can say this now and we can do this because oh you're good you know i'm like i'm like i don't like that well you're like friend you're a friend now to some of them you're a friend now you're you're sort of like talking not necessarily to a girlfriend but kind of like a girlfriend and it's like oh i can be honest now but the stuff that they be honest about is like shit they should keep to themselves i feel like i just feel like it's 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 got it's a little treachery behind it, like Tony said. It. I'd be like, "What?" Oh, it's definitely it's definitely treachery. I'd be like, "Why?" Definitely treachery. It don't make sense to me. <laughs> Women like, play you know. all kinds of games with each other mm-hmm. too. It's not just men. There's games being played with groups of women. Um, oh. Hierarchy, sort of like, can I get under your skin? But just for fun. What I see mm-hmm. when when I'm around the girls, you know, there's a little nipping here and there, just for fun. Not quite henpecking, just. Just having fun, and some girls aren't as fun as other girls, and some girls are a little bit more treacherous. I'm just the king of laughing stuff. Like anything that's said to me, I'm like, ah, you crazy, and I just move on. Like I just, I laugh everything up. Yeah, it was it was definitely you know some of that when I got my relationship, like oh, you know, and it was like, ah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But would you have dated those girls? Like now you can just flirt. Sometimes flirting with no follow-up is fun so you can flirt with them and she may want to flirt with you a little bit. oh man yeah. i was when i was single i was flirt mcgee i was flirting i was flirting mcclintock i was just out here flirting. oh yeah i'm a natural flirt i've had to actually mm-hmm. like stop doing it 
I was flirty, McGee, just, you know, because I, I was single and I could do it, you know, so it was just like, yeah. boom, pow, you know. Uh, but to answer your question, my, some of the girls who have revealed stuff, no, if I was single, they would have got that work. So I'd just be like, keep that to yourself. Maybe they secretly didn't want the work. You know what I mean? Like, they just no, want... They, it, the, the flat out, some of the flat out was like, you could have got the work. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, just the bold statement straight up. But uh, what are you going to do about it now? But yeah, okay. and it's like, I'd be like, oh, what are you doing? Sometimes girls like just place little minds, little mental minds for later. You know what I mean? Just something for you to think about, trip over later. Treachery. Sick of the games. Sick of the games and the landmines and the explosions. Tired of it. That's why I ain't coming back to the streets. No. Streets are no good. Um, So you guys would not let your 19-year-old daughter date a 38-year-old or marry a 38-year-old man. What about a 19-year-old boy with a 38-year-old woman? No, he's not ready for that mentally. He's not not ready. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. thing. It's like, what? No. What you want with my 19-year-old son? What you want with him? Like, get your old too much of a gap, man. Yeah. Like, wait, she's 38? Yeah. Like, what? That? What? Yeah, it's, it's, it's too much of a gap. Some places and some marriages, you know, a 19-year difference when you're, you're 50 and 69 is not a huge deal. Oh, I get that's, it. It happens all the time. Life. Yeah, that's later in life when you It happens you all the time. But I'm talking about when you, if you meet at 19 and 30, nah. You meet at 50 and 69, you're both grown ass adults. Like, but you well, meet, and a 19 year old is just 18, they're just not mentally ready for that. Man, woman, it don't matter. They're just not ready for that. And I feel like, I honestly feel like anybody who's, who's interested in that is trying to take advantage of something. Because what you want, I'm, I, I, I'm not even that age now. And I, probably for the last couple of years, if I meet a girl, when I was, I'm like, what am what, what I going to do with you? What I want with a, you know what I mean? Uh, a Other lot of dudes do it because of the, probably the physical attraction. Yeah. A lot of dudes would be like, oh, she's interested in me? Oh, all right. You know. Yeah, I get on the physical tip, but I'm like, come the on. The mentalities are yeah, going to clash eventually. So that's not... I can't judge. I got a friend dates real young. She's female. She dates real young. She brought a 22 year old around one time. And um, what's her? How old is she? This was she was probably about 35 at the time. She's a little bit older than me. And Tony was just like, "Why are you bringing this young dude around here?" Because he it was a double date, and he's like, "What am I supposed to talk to this young dude about? What are we going to talk about?" He was a chef, so I understand what she saw in him. I mean, 35 and 22 feels a little different, though, because, you know, at least he's a full adult. You know what I mean? That that feels a little bit different. She always dates young, and it's worked out for her. And she yeah. dates young by, like, 10 years. What do you mean it's worked out for her? She's continually dating. It ain't working out. Oh, no, she married young. She married a younger man. She has oh. a baby. It's How long have they been married? Out. They've been they've been together about three or four years. They have a baby working on the second. Got a house. He's the breadwinner. I go to her for notes. If I need notes on anything, I'm like, oh, how do I do this? And then she's like, here you go. This is what you do. And I'm like, yes. She got an accent. Oh yeah, of course she does. She just came here and just tore through Los Angeles. And I'm like, girl, you gotta give me some notes. <laughs> Where's she from? Brazil. Oh, oh, oh. Brazil. That's my best friend. Yeah, she was like she she put the she put the lock down on these youngsters. What's the what was the what was her reasoning for wanting a young a younger guy? They're more energetic, you know. They're not so um, cynical of the world, and she just likes them handsome. Right. Which is the same reason older men date younger women as well. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense. You can't hate. If guys are going to do it to us, why should we not do it to them? 
Now, if you're in the comments section, I'm just posing the question. And if you're for that, like- that can be that can be flipped so quickly. <laughs> that can be flipped so quickly. I mean, I personally am just not. I don't do it because I'm like, well, he's not going to remember this event. And if I try to use a quote from like The Simpsons, he's not going to get it. Like, what's that show? But like, all right, that's you got to know The Simpsons quotes for me to talk to you. <laughs> By the time he was coming up, The Simpsons got a little stale, so he wasn't watching it like that. But Family Guy, he's all in. Okay. Okay, we can compromise on the Family Guy quotes. <laughs> it tapped into a younger demographic. What else we got? <laughs> we have a question from Sierra Bell. She asks, have you had to correct your parents on how they grandparent your children? For example, they refuse to follow dietary restrictions that you set in place refuse to keep up with sleep schedules, take different approaches to discipline than you do, et cetera. And then she says, thank you for, thanks Maya for reading my question. She's nice. That's all I know about her, but I like her. <laughs> I've honestly gotten to the point where I'm like, all right guys, you're going to grandma and it's just going, you're going to Nana's house. It's just going to be a good time. I've just given up on, it's just what it is. I'm just like, all right, y'all going to stay up late and eat crap. It's just for two days, whatever. Like, I just, what's the point? And, and I remember being a kid, that was what I liked about going to my grandparents' house. Like, I'm about to have, you, you away from the parents. It's a little vacay. So I'm not going to deny, you know, my mom and my dad. My dad just sent something the other day. Buy them something. Eh, all right. But I'm not going to deny them their, you know, they want to do that stuff. And I remember as a kid, that's what you loved your grandparents for. So I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Um, for me, like, you know, we grandparents always take their foot off the gas yeah. on the on the strictness once the grandbabies come around and be like, so when you get on your kids about something, they'll be like, I remember you used to that you I used to get a whooping for it. <laughs> you know, and so uh they always take their foot off the gas. Like growing up with the Baker boys, they didn't eat pork growing up. So, you know, whenever they were with my mom, she never gave them pork. And that was pretty much the only, you know the only restriction we had. And uh, there was never any like, you know, I, I never remember any issues where I was like, Ma, can you not, you know, uh, you know, so whatever rules we had going, you know, my mom usually had my back on it. And now, now Ree's parents, um, not, not even them either. Like you know, it, it wasn't an issue on that side either. Like you know, when they were when they were around them, it was no bedtime really. They were just like you know. Sometimes they would fall asleep on them, on the kids. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there was never any real issue on that front on that side either. So uh, I never had to deal with that that type of like, Ma, can you not? You know, can you have them in bed by? You know. And you got to watch how you come at your parents still, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, who are you talking to? Oh, I was just saying, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> have them in bed by like nine. You know, yeah. It's, it's well, less usually, sweets. Yeah. My mom, when it, when she would watch them when she lived here, she kept on the schedule for the weekday. But now that she doesn't live here, when we take, an, when we take them to her house, it's usually a weekend. So I'm like, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, bets, all bets yeah. are off. I just be all I ask. I be telling my mom sometimes, like, can you make sure they eat first before you give in? Because my mom, be, they'd be like, can we have cookies? Okay. Can we have fruit snacks? Okay. And then dinner come around, they they full off jump. And I'm like, mom, just let them eat first, and then I just don't care after that. But it'd be so funny too that I I can't even get mad. I'd be like, mom, you just let them jump on the furniture. We would we would die for that. Mm -hmm. Put out the gas. Put out the gas for the grandbaby. I just be hating, low key. Yeah, that's what it is. I really just be hating. I'm like, oh, I be hating. Food snacks. That's what it is. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that's the biggest thing. It just be it just be us as kids hating on <laughs> the loose leafness right. of the grandparents. Like you know, because because who knows? Like when I have grandkids, I'll probably be laid right. back, McGee. Like. You know, I'm like, let that boy jump off the TV. He ain't hurting nobody. Let him jump off the roof. <laughs> We're only on the second floor. He'll be fine. You know, here goes some fruit snacks. And they just throw the fruit snacks on them, bleed down there with a broken leg. 
I actually, I, I like, I relish though. I like them. I do like watching them be able to be grandparents. So they just eat it up. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and the kids don't need the discipline and stuff all the time. That's too much. The grandparents' house is supposed to be fun. Mm-hmm. Playing with their cousins and eating junk and all that crap. That's fun. I remember that. Now, my grandparents, they were, well, my grandmother was a little bit more strict. Like, I felt that my grandmother didn't have the loose leaf energy. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, and, and my granddad was just whatever. He would just come in. I would hide from him. He'd look for me, see if my mom cooked anything. He would get in on that and then dip. But he wasn't. He didn't feel like loose either, but they, you know, that's old school, you know, blackness. So, uh, so I never got that. Oh, I can, I can uh, take my foot off the gas and I go over to Granny's house. It's like, nah, I feel, I feel more comfortable with the parents. Well, my Granny and Papa, it was food time, so that's why I loved going over there because they cooked. Mm-hmm. One from New Orleans, the other from Oklahoma, and they used to cook. So I remember I went there for two weeks and gained fifteen pounds. And I said, so I, I loved being over there. And she was, in, you know, fast food, whatever, cooking, whatever. They was like, yeah, it was time to eat. They would, I remember they gave us a whooping and then made lunch after. I was like, this is the best lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care. Them tears of that sandwich was delicious. Man. The tears was the condiments, man. Food is life, though. Don't get me started on that. I know, right? I got to get out of here in, in, in uh, like 15 minutes. Okay, all right, we should. We get another question. One last question from Stimson J. Cat. He wants a do-over question from a few weeks ago. He says, okay. if your kids were in a same-sex relationship, mm-hmm. so if they were gay or lesbian or bisexual, uh, then would you let them close the door with their girlfriend or boyfriend? So he wants to know. Oh, wants to know, I remember this question. Yeah, is it all about the unplanned pregnancy, or is it about them being sexually active in the room? It's about them being sexually yeah. active in the room. So if I do, if I do know <laughs> that my sons are in the in the boys, I'd be like, leave the door. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, y'all not gonna be smashing and in the crib. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's about the sexually active and the, and the, yeah, yeah, the respect of my home. You don't pay no bills here. You don't get to smash in here. Like no. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. What's up, Keelan? Oh, he can't oh, hear can't me. Hear you. He said, "What's up?" Oh, sorry, bro. I didn't know you was coming up here. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> bad. Elbow midnight on accident. Yeah, yeah. but that's it. That's an easy answer. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's about the respect of the house and your age. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it might be. Some parents, I, I, this wouldn't be me, but some parents would say, I want it, this done in my house so I know what's going on and who it's going on with. So as long as it's not some 40-year-old, you know, in their apartment where anything could happen, whereas it's on someone else who's in high school in my house so I can meet the kid and at least approve of them. That's what some parents would say. Right. Yeah, man. What are you doing? That's a good time over there. Oh, they oh, acting today. Uh, thank y'all for the questions in the comments section, as usual. Um, you know, uh, if you ask questions in the comments section, we'll try to tackle some of them on the show. Of course, we're not going to get to all of them, but when we do, we do. Um, we, are, we are making a change to daddy issues. Uh, we are merging with the the Hot Nothing podcast. So now we are introducing uh, some new cast of characters to the mix. Craig Wayans, Chaz Rogers, and DC Irvin. Uh, for those of you who have never seen the Hot Nothing podcast, it was a podcast started uh, by myself, Craig Wayans, and DC Irvin back in like 2013. Um, Something like that. It's been a while. And, uh, and, and DC's been on the show, so you got, and Chaz, so you guys recognize. Oh, yeah, DC and Chaz have pulled up before, uh, multiple times, actually. Yeah. yeah. So Chaz filled in familiar, for me for like so. three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> Chaz was in here. <laughs> so we're going to merge it. And, you know, you still get the daddy elements because we're all dads. We're all fathers. Uh, all black all fathers. All fathers. 
<laughs> and so uh, we'll keep that thing going. It'll still be called Daddy Issues. Maya is going on to, where'd you go with Maya? I started a YouTube page. Oh, ho, ho. let's go. It's called Maya Muses, M-A-Y-E-M-U-S-E-S. And it's about stuff that I read that I find interesting. It's about fitness. It's about the arts. And those are my three obsessions in life. So mm-hmm. that's Maya Muses. Um, nice Wait, what, are, what are the three? So it's, it's basically about society, things that I find interesting. When I see that someone out there is trying to gaslight people, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's, that's, that's nonsense. This is gaslighting. And people do it all the time. Try to gaslight uh, you, try to trick you and say, this guy on Twitter convinced half of a good portion of Twitter that two plus two could equal five. I'm like, he's trolling you. And here's why he's trolling you. Stuff like okay. that. One of my videos is on Indian matchmaking. Just stuff that I find really Indian interesting. Indian matchmaking? The show. And this, 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 oh, the, oh, the YouTube oh. page is up now? Yes. The YouTube page, My Amuses, is up now. My oh, Amuses. Th- this is coming out Friday, so you, there'll be a couple videos up there. Um, mm-hmm. And, of course, you guys know I'm obsessed with fitness. So it goes for both genders, bodybuilding, you know, weight training, calisthenics. Yeah. But you going to talk about fun. ice skating on there as well? Ice skating, flexibility, dance, and stuff like that. Like, I'm... I'm fairly well rounded in the fitness stuff, mm-hmm. although I do a lot of female fitness stuff, the grace things. I know that my boo does a lot of the strength things, so I also have I also cook for him. So I know exactly what, you know, on both sides. So I try to keep it co ed as much as I can. You know yeah. what you're talking about ASICs in there? She go yeah. ahead and ASICs on. Yeah, you gotta protect your ankles. I'm so serious about injury prevention. <laughs> <laughs> but it's low they're not protecting your ankle. they're low tops she be wearing low top asics yeah, I ain't never still. seen you in high tops that ain't no. like ankle protection they still man they're the par- I got the parkour ones the ones yeah, where you no. take it <laughs> I, but you're right you're right I, you, it's not gonna it's not a boot it's not like it's a boot cut to somebody in the comments like I just rolled my ankle Maya you're a goddamn lie <laughs> if you roll your ankle I am so sorry Please rest your ankle. Uh, and of course, the arts, because people who know me know that I'm an artist and I do a lot of art. So. There was great art. She got, as a painting here that she did, it's on my wall here. She got she a few hands on her flappers. Painted. She got some at flappers. Great art. Uh, yes. Yeah, man. I wish I could draw. Yeah. Anyone can draw. I swear, Tony, anyone can draw. I wish I was good, though. I gave you those books you can practice on. I gave you a whole set in the books. You did. You did. <laughs> True that. I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on it one day. Now would have been the time for me to really focus on that, but I dropped the ball. Okay. Um, Anytime you so, can start. But I can't. That's facts. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, so, oh, uh, go ahead. Also, wording is hard. I'm on wording is hard every week. Mm-hmm. Every week. This week, week we have Big Jaw on. I did not choose nice. the desk. Yeah, he <laughs> I see them in there. I was like, "It looks like he's riding a little rocking horse." It's a desk, though. It's just he's big. <laughs> yeah, big job, man. Funny guy, man. I love his. Uh, I love his content. Me too. Be dope. Wording is hard is the best show on TV right now. It's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm well, happy all right. to be part of it. Yeah, you you're a great addition to it. You don't be laughing at nothing. Nothing. She nothing. Did so, she did me so cold on there. Keon's episode comes out next week, everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm so pissed at my episode. Check that out. I don't want to reveal. Yeah. I want to reveal though. Here's why I want to redo wording is hard because y'all didn't have the the rules formulated when I did it, and so I was having to guess the definition without reading the sentence. Should have read this. But then y'all yes. switched that up. I was like, oh, man, I could have. Because once I read the sentence, I can better understand the word. Yeah. And I wasn't given that. So I want that re Because you get half I want to redo. You why tell you get here, I want the re-up. You can get, I get it for Tony. Kim, why do you I can't redo? say why, but I don't want to ruin the episode. You already so know is, why. You was there. 
I remember. I don't know why you want to redo. The rules are in place. Everything. Yeah, I want to redo. Did you lose, Kia? I don't know. Did I lose? We'll see. Because Kia, we will cause, see. Because the here is the easy win. We shall see. Can't wait. Can't wait. So, so great. So, um, the daddy issues next week. We'll have uh, the new gang on there. So it'll still be same page, same site, same all that. You can ask questions in the comment section uh, on YouTube. And uh, yeah, man, Maya, thank you for everything. Holding us down, Was holding a pleasure. The down, producing a great podcast. Uh, and we will we will pump your YouTube page <clears throat> sure. every chance we get. Uh, so follow Maya. Matter of fact, when you hear this, subscribe to her page right now. Uh, Please. Right now. And uh, learn about ice skating, fitness, art, gas lighting, exposed ankles. When is she talking about ankle support? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen high top aces. Well, I've seen the wrestling. The wrestlers yeah, wear the wrestling joints. high top aces, but that's it. Because aces, don't wear, they don't make hoop shoes. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah. Why? You know why they don't make hoop shoes? Because no, nobody wants them. Nobody would wear them. Nobody wants ASICs on the court. Probably, I just know my girl was practicing jumping out outside uh, off the ice, and she was barefoot, and she broke two toes. Well, that, that, you can't uh, be practicing barefoot? jumping. She was barefoot. She broke her toes. I was like, yeah, oh, what do you, Adam, that wasn't a smart business decision. Man. Anyway, uh, all right, Keon, now. we got to get you out of here. Yeah, because uh, I got to do uh, Yeah, man. Do your thing. Do you do your thug fizzle. And yeah, we'll see you guys man, next man. week. Yes, 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 yes. And subscribe to everybody's YouTube page, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And as usual, we out here.